The Samaritan woman, I have told you before, when somebody is anonymous in the Bible, it means that there is what? A problem. You remember? Anonymity means problem or is applicable to everyone. That's why the woman said to Jesus, he said, ah, you, a Jew, asking me, a Samaritan woman for water, yeah? She was surprised. She was shocked. Why? Jews and Samaritans had nothing in common. They were quarreling. And how did this start? Small Bible history. How many tribes in Israel? Twelve tribes. After King David, who became the king of Israel? Solomon. Abi? Okay. Now, towards the end of Solomon's reign, he had issues. And the kingdom was divided into two. Ten tribes went to the northern kingdom of Israel with the capital at Samaria. The other two tribes went to the southern kingdom, Judah, with the capital at Jerusalem. In the seventh century, that is like 800 years before Jesus came, the Assyrians were the world power. And those days there was no United Nation. Once you are strong, conquer any country you can, as much as you can. There was nobody regulating anything. The Assyrians invaded Israel and conquered it. And usually what they did those days is that whenever you conquer the people, you will carry their citizens to your own country and then bring people from your own and keep there so that you can have control. So they carried a number of the Israelites to Assyria. Then they brought people from different um, cities in uh, controlled by Assyria, about five to East Israel in Samaria. They settled there. So, with time, the remaining Israelite Jews who were there intermarried. They married these foreigners. And in the Old Testament, God forbade the Israelites from marrying non Jews. Well, we don't know whether it's God or that's how they understood um, this thing. So, interracial marriage. Even up to today, a typical Jew can never marry. You know this thing called superiority complex? It happens among us now. There are some parents who will not allow their sons or their daughters to marry from any other tribe outside their own. Three of us. It's, I know now. It still happens. The Jews in Judah now saw them as impure and inferior and said they would have nothing to do with them. Say they are inferior, they are impure. In 400 BC, 4th century BC, Babylonia or Babylon, at the present day Iraq, rose as a superpower then. They also invaded the southern kingdom of Judah and did the same thing they did to the Israelites. They carried some of their men to Babylon. To Babylon. That is where somebody like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were serving in the court of the king of uh, Babylon. It was also there that uh, so many other things happened. They carried them there, but I'm not sure they brought their own people. But the Jews from the southern kingdom, when they, they were stubborn, they refused to intermarry. They kept their, they, even if you are going to kill us, kill us, we will never mix with any other person. It is there that they developed such songs like, By the rivers of Babylon. Abby, you know that song? Psalm 138. As the years went by, another emperor, another empire arose. Persian Empire. The Persian Empire rose, defeated Babylon, and ruled almost all of that place. Then one Persian king decreed that the Jews should be allowed to go back home. I think it's uh, Cyrus. Cyrus or David. I think it's Cyrus. By the decree of Cyrus the king, all Jews should be allowed access to their homeland and nobody should them. That was during the time of Nehemiah, Ezra. So these Jews now returned back to Jerusalem and then they started rebuilding the temple. Then their brothers or cousins from Samaria came to help and said, okay, since you are back, let us help you rebuild the temple. They said, no, you guys are impure. Don't come near us. The returning Jews said no to the Samarian Jews that they are what? Impure because they had intermarried. I mean, when somebody says you are impure, you are a dog, what do you do? 
Won't you get angry? So that was the beginning of the animosity. For hundreds of years, they were not seeing each other eye to eye. Up to Jesus' time. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.